All right, so welcome back to the low coding. So in today's video, we are going to continue Next.js server component with Superbase, and we're gonna do the role base access and data fetching. So there's three things that we're gonna do in this uh, video. So first, we're gonna do try to auto create user when on sign up and define their roles, default roles. And the second part is we're gonna do page protection based on the role. So right now, I have created an admin page. So as you can see right here, this page is, does not have any page uh, role access. Uh, protections right now so that's why anyone can just go to this one so we're gonna do the page protection let's say if you are an admin you can be able to access to this page and the third part is data fetching based on roles so let's say for imagined uh when you are as an admin you can be able to fetch any data you want right so we are going to working on that all right so and then we can use with our code boilerplate right here you can find this one uh in the githubs that are linked in the description i went ahead and create a couple page uh, a couple things i'm going to explain what i just added so if you clone you might not get what you see right now on the screen so the first one is right now is going to be the admin page nothing fancy here just create a new folder and with the page.tsx right here and this code right here it just display the h1 that's what you can see on the screen on the, your right side right here on the other one thing is going to be on the auth page so if i'm going to lock out right here so you can see there's a sign ups user right here so inside the auth page right here you can see and inside the auth component and we have the new button is just create sign ups new user and then and we have this one right here just a very basic function just to sign up the user and because I just, because a uh, thing we do with some multiple user and role based access, we should have multiple user. And this one login with GitHub, I don't have multiple GitHub account. That's why I'm just doing this one. All right. Hopefully it's clear on this one. Okay. So now let's go back into our uh, to do. So the first one, this is what we're going to do. So right now, when we log into the GitHub, so uh, we are going to create a user. So if we go into the Superbase and it's authentication right here, and as you can see, we have this user right here. So whenever we do log in and that, we create the user right here, but this is not what we want. So we wanted to, when whenever we uh, create a user or sign up the user, we should be able to have the record inside our table data. So that's what we're gonna do. So first of all, we're gonna create a, a table. So the table is gonna be user and then so for this table, it's going to be really simple. So I'm going to go with the UUID. And then for now, we're going to keep just the two columns only. And when you work on the real uh, scenario, so this user should have more column based on your need. All right. For now, it's just making everything simple. So right now we have this one. So once again, so um, we're trying to create a user. So for now, I'm going to delete this user. And then, so what we're gonna do is like, whenever there's a new user into this table right here, we are going to insert the record into this user table and then with a role. So I think I should create a role for this one as well. And then we can have a default value is gonna be just a normal user. And the type of this one should be text. So I forgot it's just this one that hopefully I can hit save. So right now you can see, uh, we have the role, but default is the user. All right. So right now we have this one. Let's do the automatically create a record when user sign up. So to do that, it's pretty simple. We're going to use is we're going to use something from Superbase. It's going to be called functions and trigger right here. So you can see right here, we have function and trigger. So, so right here, there's no function. So we're going to create a function. So this function, what we're going to do is like create uh, user on sign up and then there you go and then you can with public schema and then this y is going to be trigger since we're going to use this one with trigger and so for this one it's going to be the query a SQL query that we're going to do and i'm going to copy and paste right here so and this one you can find this one from the go to doc uh, description i link everything that i get from to get uh, why I have this one right here and it's much better explanation than me but I'm trying to explain what it does right here so what it does right here is that uh, I think this one should be going to the user and then so let's go in just to with the ID so this one uh, the def definition right here it's going to insert into the user or the table that we just created earlier and with the ID uh, of the into the column ID with the new uh, what is the value here is the new dot ID and what is new dot ID right here the new dot ID right here will be the ID from the 
auth table right here. So if we go to authentication, so when we create the, this user, we're going to have this user ID, right? And then that ID will be the new dot ID right here. And we'll insert into our user dot ID. And that's what it does right here. And you can actually add more data into here. Uh, for example, right here, because our table right now is pretty simple. We have only the ID record only. And then with the role, so that's why when we auto insert with just the ID right here, if you have more, you, you will um, do more things right here. And the best way to uh, learn more about that, the link in the description. All right. So for now, we're just going to go into show advanced setting. And then this one should be choose the definer. If you choose this one, it will get permission denied. You make sure you choose this one. All right. Okay. So then we click confirms and hope everything is fine, right? So now let's go into trigger. So we're going to create the trigger into trigger the function that we just create. And the name right here, you can name whatever you want. I'm going to just do create, um, let's say, users on sign up again. And then this one is going to be trigger fire. So w this happen is like what, uh, let's say, when it's happened to this table, whatever table that you choose, it's going to trigger the function. So what we're going to interested in is going to be the user auth right here. Make sure you choose the right table, the user auth, which is this one right here. And then you're going to click on the insert and make sure you do after. And then this one is going to be row. And then you're going to choose the function. So we're going to choose the function that we just created earlier, right? So with this one, we can click on confirm. So right now everything is uh, finished. So what we have to do right now is we're going to go back into our UI and right here. So whenever I click on either one of these functions, this two button right here, it will go going to auto create the user for me. So right now let's actually test that. So I'm going to click on login with GitHub right here. All right. So right now we are logging. And if we go back in here, you can see if I refresh this one, I should be able to have a new user. So as you can see, I have created and with this UUID right here. And then if we look at our table of the user right here, we should be able to see one record. So you can see right here, we are auto create this one. I think with this one, let's actually see. I think this one should auto for me and then uh, default value should be user, right? And I uh, see. So because right here, I do not have the value of the auto. So I'm going to edit right here. The auto should be user. And I'm gonna click save again. So this one I'm gonna edit the by manually. And all right, so let's try again. So I'm gonna lock out from this user, and I'm going to create sign up with this user. So if you look at this sign up with this user, so with we're using fake email and fake password. And if you if uh, if you are, are unable to click right here and run, you have to go into your auth authentication. You go to your provider. And then go to your email and you can see right here i disable every secure things right here if i just enable the confirm thing right here it won't work because when i click on signed up superbase will try to send the link to that email so i just disable everything right here just click on this one that's why it uh, i able to click and sign up so but make sure when you are on production make sure this one is turned on based on your uh functionality need better your business okay Right now, let's actually do it. So I'm going to click on sign up. This will do the same thing. It's create a new user. So right now, as you can see, I'm locked in. If we go back into our table, we should be seeable to see another record of the user. All right. So as you can see right now, we have a new user right here. And then we with the default role right here of the user. OK, so right now we are complete our checklist. Let's go back in here. We are autoing create a user record with defining role. OK. So now we're going to do the page protection based on the role right here. So now let's go back into the admin page. So admin page right here, we do not have any off, uh, even the session protection. So we're going to do first, we, we just set the protection first. So it's similar things to the other page if I'm going to go back here. So what we need, the first thing first is we're going to uh, get the super base client right here. I'm going to make it larger, this one. So first, I'm going to copy everything from this one. And let's go into our admin page. And we have this one. Make sure I am copy from this one as well. All right. So it seems I missed the I right here. 
All right, so right now we have this one. This page should be an A things. And then I need to do the redirect as well. All right, so right now, as you can see, nothing. We did not do any roll just yet. But this one is supposed to, whenever I, let's say, for example, check. So my role is user, right? So, and then I shouldn't be able to access to this page. So first, I'm going to access to fetch, try to fetch this data. And then whenever I on this page and check the role, if the role is uh, match, and then we're going to stay here. It's not just redirect somewhere else. First, we need to do some policy. Let's go into the new policy and get the quick start. So I'm going to choose this template. I'm going to edit this one. So instead of uh, delete, we can just do read. And then we're going to do select. And the role it should be authenticated. And then we're going to do uh, the user ID should be auth.id right here. So this one is just this policy uh, right here is just tell that um, whoever that have their same ID at the off the request ID match this ID can be able to read this record right here okay so with that we can just uh, call this functions right here and I'm going to just do copy and paste right here instead of test it's going to be user and then the star right here we, yeah we're going to create everything and then we're going to choose the single only and the data right here should be user uh, record and then if we try to show this one and then let's do the JSONs dot stringify this data and then it's gonna be node two. So right now if uh, if you can see right here if I, we can see we have this record right here. So right now you can see we have the role of the user right so with that said you can just do check condition if there's a user dot role and then the role is going to be I think we can just do something like this. It can be null as well. Uh, let's see, we can do something like this. If there is a user dot role and then the role is going to be equal to, is not equal to admin, we're going to redirect them to the page, the home page right here. All right. So right now, if I save this one, it's going to redirect me back here. That's pretty much it. That's pretty simple on how to do this one. So if, we're, if I were to change back into this user, I'm not sure which uh, what user that's actually doing this one. So maybe this last user that we just created. So I'm going to change him to back to admin. And then if we try to access to the admin page, as you can see, we I am an admin. I can access to this page. All right. So let's go back and switch the user. So right now I'm going to lock out. Right here and then i'm gonna lock in with this user using github instead so right now i'm accessed to this page and then if i'm going back to the admin page i won't be able to because i don't have the permission to do that so with that said we are finished with the page role protections so voila so, all right so next so we're gonna take a look at data fetching based on roles so this one is for for example you have your post table and your post blocks and then as an admin you should be able to read all of the records inside the tables and and if you are as a normal user you are just be able to read as your own data only all right so let's do that so the first thing first we're going to do is we are going to create a new table so you can see right here i have create uh, set it a post uh, table and then we have this uh, pretty simple so first we have an id with uid and the title is going to be text right here and then the uid uh the user id right here will be a relation to the public user and with the id columns and then we're going to do cascade as well so let's hit save this one and then let's actually hit save this one all right so right now as you can see the post table is created let's actually going to insert the table right here so i'm not going to create a code to insert this one so this way we do this way is a little bit quicker so the id will auto generate for me and then this one is going to be this post is belong to admin all right so we're going to select this one and then we're going to select the admin id to this one and then we're going to insert another row, which is like, this is not uh, admin post. Okay. So we're going to select the user ID right here. 
So I'm going to hit save this one as well. So right now we have this post right here. So we're going to do the data fetching to this one. And then let's let's see uh, how we can do that. So on the admin page right here, if I'm going, so let's go back to admin page. Let's actually try to fetch some data inside uh, this one right here. So and below right here. So I'm going to try to copy and reuse the code that I have right here. So instead of the test right here, we're going to do post. Now we're going to select star. Now we're going to do post right here. So like now, and then if we you should have be able to have this post and then let's actually do the post right here. So I'm going to hit save this one and then you will see there's a problem right here. So let's actually, re, I'm not sure we should, oh, uh, as you can see, we have nothing. So why do we have nothing right here? The reason is because uh, by default, we need to set up some policy to protect the user data. This is enforced by Superbase, and it's really good practice to actually do it when using with Superbase. So right now, we're going to create the policy. And then the policy that we're going to use is I'm going to use the existing template, this one right here, and save. And then instead of the, this one to delete, we're going to do read, and then choose this select instead. So this one, we read best on the user ID. And this is what we, and then I wanted to enforce the role, uh, this authenticate as well. And this one is just condition to check if the user's ID, the request is coming, the ID is equal to the column, the user ID that we have, we're going to able to let the user read. I'm going to hit save this policy. And as of that right now, as you can see, if I refresh this one, I be able to see only one records only, which is my post that belong to admin. But since I am an admin, right? So I am an admin. So this account is the admin. So I should be able to read all of the record that I have. But with the policy that we set right now, it's only be able to read their belonging uh, post only. So to do that, we, we have to update this policy. So you can see right here, we just check the user ID only. It's pretty simple. So we need to check their role within this policy as well. So to do that, we can just do all operator and we can do select the role from public.user so our user table right here that we just create and with the public right here make sure because there's a user right here is a public table and then we can check where the id of the user is going to match this auth.uid right here so what this one will do is actually trying to get the roles from the uh the user where, uh, that's coming that request and then we can check if this value is actually equal to the admin's uh, value. So we can do admin right here. And then for now I'm going to wrap around this one one more time. And then I'm going to hit save, right? Uh, review and save right here. Hopefully everything could work. Right now, as you can see, our policy is working. And now let's actually go back. So you can see right now, uh, when I get back, I fetch all the data. So let's actually refresh this one. So as you can see right now, I be able to fetch all of the data right here because I am an admin. So with other records, with our policy set that uh, with admin role, I can be able to access. So let's make sure that the other user won't be able to access the admin data, right? So to do that, let's go back uh, into the, our homepage right here. And then let's do the lockout and lock in again with the user sign up. So I have created the functions to sign up this one. So as you can see right here, I have created a new functions uh, button right here, lock in, and then we're going to do lock in with the email address that we just created earlier. So I'm going to click on lock in right here. It should redirect me here. And if I go back and, and check the admin page, I cannot do it because I'm not an admin. And let's actually go into the uh, code of the admin page and try to fetch the data inside this page right here. So inside this page, we can do the same things. And then we have the post, and then let's actually use the post uh, inside to display this one right here. All right, so right now, as you can see right here, I be able to page that is not belong to admins only. So I cannot access to the page that belong to the admin. Okay, so right now, I think that pretty much it, guy. So we go into back in here and data chinks and best on roll and we are finished so i think we finished our goal in this video so hopefully you learned something from this video so this is still a very simple application there's not much going on right here but we have built a crown uh boilerplate that can be used uh, as you can see right now we pay protection admin protections and role access data and things like that so in the next video we can try to build more real world application that make it even better so i'm still thinking drafting about the idea but 
uh, yeah, so um, let me know what you think and let me know in the comment. Hopefully you like this video and hopefully you like more to see more video like this. All right, so see you in the next video.